Okay, this is from 11.1, testing the difference between two proportions. In city A, 45 out of 100 people prefer electric cars, while in city B, 55 out of 20 prefer electric cars. Tests that claim that the proportion of people preferring electric cars is different between the two cities. So your null hypothesis will be P1 equals P2. Your alternative will be P1 not equal to P2 because it says different. Okay, I broke this, the information down into city A, city B. You need N, the sample size, and then X, which is the number of successes. So we have two Ns and two Xs. N1 is 100, X1 is 45, N2 is 120, and X2 is 55. We're going to use a static crunch to do this one first. So we're going to go to stat. And we're going to go proportion. This is a proportion, guys. You don't go to T stat or, or Z stat. You have two sample and you have summaries. Okay. Number of, let me just reduce the size of this one so you can see the whole screen. Okay. Number of successes is 45. It's out of 100. Number of successes here, 55, I think out of 120. And we need to select not equal, which is already selected. And this is all you need. Just hit compute. You don't touch the zero there. Compute. And what do we have here? The test statistic is, so the test statistic is negative 0.12. The p-value is a huge, guys, 0 0.9016, which is bigger than alpha. If p-value is bigger than alpha, you don't reject HO. And then you say that there is not enough evidence to support the claim that the two proportions are different. When you fail to reject HO and the claim is in H1, you cannot support the claim. So you say there is not enough evidence to support the claim. If you want to do this one using the calculator, you just go to stat and you go to tests and then scroll down to number six to proportion z test enter so x1 here is 45 number of successes uh, n1 is 100 x2 is 55 and N2 is 120. And then we need P1 different from P2, enter. And you can hit calculate and watch. Oops, what did I do here? Can we just go back? Let's figure together what did we do wrong here. Oh. You can see N1 should have been 100, didn't type 100. And N2 should have been 120. I don't know why it didn't pick up the one. Now it should be working. Okay, so Z is negative 0.12, and look at the P value, guys. It's 0. 9016, which is a huge, bigger than alpha, you fail to reject HO. If you ask me about P1 hat, this is X1 over N1, and P2 hat is X2 over uh, N2. So that concludes the question for this one.